All right, guys. Uh, just doing a quick review on a, a new figure I received the other day. Uh, this is the Kids Logic uh, Kuma. Uh, this is the first from the series. Just came out a few weeks back. Uh, just got a chance to finally uh, do a uh, video on it. So just thought I'd give you guys a look. Uh, it's a pretty cool figure. Uh, you can tell it's very, uh, very close to the game and anime style. The the big feet, you know, the uh, mountains of muscles, and uh, it's got some cool features in it. Uh, comes uh, comes with uh, just a few things, um, you know, definitely appropriate to the character. Um, starting off with the uh, stand, it is a uh, dynamic stand. Um, so I'll give you a quick look at that. And it's pretty big. You know, you can, you can get them to go pretty, pretty high in the air if you wanted to with that. As a waist and grundle grabber. Uh, the outfit that they, uh, used to recreate the, uh, the look is really nice. Uh, it does have wires going all the way through it, so you could pose this in whichever way that you want. Uh, it comes with a couple of extra hands. He comes with his fists. And then he comes with these kind of like Hadouken hands. Comes with two of those. So, there's that. Um, articulation on this guy is really good. As you could tell just by looking at it. Uh, you got the uh, shoulder joint, swivel, double jointed elbows, double jointed knees. Uh, it's got rockers on the uh, ankle. A lot of people didn't realize it actually can you know, pivot like that, but it can. You can see there. Uh, he has toe articulation too, so he can actually bend his foot up. Uh, so this guy is fully, fully poseable. Heads on a ball joint. Look up, down, any way you want. Uh, and the, uh, the last accessory he comes with is this. It's the, uh, the symbol that you can put onto his back. Um, that is via this pen light. See if this focuses. There we go. So I'm gonna kill a couple of lights here so you can see it better. So that's that. Uh, getting back to the figure. Um, actually, with the lights off, let me show you one other thing. Another special feature this uh, figure has is the light up eyes. Which, which is a feature what I wasn't really that... Uh, worried about you know I really didn't care about it but actually after having it he looks actually way better with it um, definitely glad that they included that looks really good um, he also comes with his bead necklace which is actually wood and it's on a metal wire so you could pose that however you like <laughs> this thing's pretty badass you know it's it's heavy the uh, tailoring is well done. The, the execution on the figure is excellent. Uh, the sandals are separate. You can remove those if you wanted to. 
Uh, the base body that they created for this is pretty much near perfect for the character. I mean, you can see the just the mass on him is it's pretty pretty amazing in one six scale to see something this roided out. It's pretty cool. Um, I mean, he's very fun to pose. He does have uh, a ratchet joint system, so when you move him, you know, it makes click noises. But it's not, you know, some of them figures that have had that in the past are very stiff. This one moves pretty fluidly. Um, so there's really not a, a whole lot more to say about it. It's an awesome figure. You know, it's the beginning of a series from the Street Fighter uh, 4. Uh, they are planning on making more. I know uh, Ryu is in the works. Um... So that's definitely another figure that I'd be interested in picking up. Anyone who is a uh, fan of the uh, Street Fighter games, uh, this is definitely something you might want to look into. It's probably the coolest Akuma figure, period. You know, there's nothing out there that, that even comes close to the quality that this thing brings. Uh, definitely something you guys want to take a look at. Uh, price isn't too bad either. Um, what you get, it's a real quality figure. I'll give you a quick look at the, the box. Again, that's from Kids Logic. And that's the end of that. Um, back to the figure again. Guys, I uh, can't recommend this enough. Uh, if you're a Street Fighter fan, this is something you definitely want to take a look at. Pick it up. Articulation is phenomenal. Quality is great. Uh, the sculpting, the weight, the tailoring. Uh, it's just a very, very fun figure to have on your shelf. So... That's it. Uh, Till next time, guys. Thanks for watching.